Hi, I'm Matt Mahler with Movie Web, and you're two of the busiest and smartest producers working right now. Hello. Hey, that's Hi. very kind. Thank you. <laughs> that's very kind. Yeah, uh, I mean, very great projects coming up, and Sugar is one of the best shows I've seen since Beef. Wow. Oh, amazing. Awesome. It's fantastic. Thank you. Um, I guess starting with Simon on the surface, it seems different from your usual productions. Why were you so interested in it? And is it really that different after all? Um, it's different in some ways, um, but you know, I've always been into detective stories and I worked on the Sherlock Holmes movies and I worked on the Poirot films. So I have trafficked in this world a little bit, even though those are period. But yeah, I, th I would say my hope is that you know, with the exception of living in the X-Men world for a very long time, a lot of my films and work feel different, right? Um, like Martian's very different than Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's certainly very different from Cinderella. And so I really just get fired up about a good script or a good story. And we had a great script that was given to us by Mark Protasevich, the creator of the show. And it felt like all the things I love about film noir stories and detective stories, but with such a modern, crazy, bold, um, top spin to it. That's why I, I, I got excited and into it and felt like I could bring the things I like to something I haven't done. It does so in many ways. I mean, Mark is a cinephile himself and infused the series with a love of films, but ho Hollywood as an industry town too. So it's kind of embedded in our storytelling and you know, Sugar as a character makes sense of the world around him through cinema, through those stories, through those lessons. So I think um, taking those things from a creative standpoint and then also literally using film clips and elements of old noir films like a jazz-infused score and voiceover narration, you know, it, this show truly is a love letter to Hollywood in so many ways, both new and old. I mean, it's been really fun talking about the show because we finally, you know, you work on something for a long time and, you, and and the ones you really love, you're excited about sharing with people. And so that's been really fun to get out there and, and to talk to people like you've seen the show. I think in terms of spoilers I, and what we tell people is, you know, the, what I one of the things I love about the show is that the mystery of who Sugar is, who the detective is, right, is as compelling as the case he's on. Um, and so unraveling that mystery, I feel like, is part of the fun and part of the activity for the audience. That isn't usually the case, right? If you're watching Sherlock Holmes or Poirot or I, God knows the million detective shows that have been on network television forever, you're usually not unraveling the mystery of who the detective is. You may learn some things about their personal life, but you're not really like looking for clues as you go um, into answering who that person is. And so that is part to me of the appeal of the show, regardless of what the answer to that is, it's just the actual following the mystery of who is this man is something different. And I think something that is easy to talk about, even if you don't reveal the answer.